For this is, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will enter, I will enter His gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter His courts with praise. I will say. Hallelujah. It's good to be in the house of the Lord just one more time. Because, Cheryl, this is the day that the Lord has made. I don't know about you, but I made up in my mind, Shirley, that I will rejoice. I will be glad. Ain't nobody going to take my joy today. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. But I come to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Has God been good to anybody under the sound of my voice? We serve a good God, a gracious God, a loving God, a compassionate God, a God who provides, a God that protects. Come on here now. We serve a God who is almighty, all powerful, all seeing, all knowing, and all loving. He loves us in spite of our own self. He loves us. Hallelujah. That's the kind of God that I want to serve. That's the kind of God I come to celebrate this morning. Hallelujah. As, as we end this Black History Month celebration, what, what, what better way to, to end it with celebrating who the Lord is? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's, the song says he is Alpha and yeah. Omega. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. That, that means he is from A to Z. Yeah. He's everything in Amen. between. Hallelujah. Yeah. I just come to praise God. Y'all forgive me, but I have to praise the Lord for all God has done. Hallelujah. I, I remember uh, uh, Mark's daughter used to sing, there's a praise on the inside that I can't keep to myself. Hallelujah. I got Anybody got a praise this morning? Hallelujah. I woke up with a praise this morning. Hallelujah. When I looked outside, it was cold, but when I looked outside and I saw the sun coming up, there was a praise in my heart. Hallelujah. I couldn't keep it to myself. Only thing I could say was, hallelujah, God. You are good. <laughs> oh my God, I, I'm, I'm full this morning, hallelujah Amen. Let me say welcome, welcome, welcome to Gethsemane African Methodist Episcopal Church We're so glad to have you all in the house with us on today Give yourself a hand of praise, hallelujah Amen. Just for, 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 for making it out And we didn't want you to come, but you made it, hallelujah You showed up, and we are grateful to have you in the house today We praise the Lord for all of you who are joining us by way of streaming media Amen. We would ask that you would share this feed on Facebook, YouTube, wherever we're streaming. Share this feed. Amen. Call somebody up. Wake somebody up. Send smoke signals. Do what you got to do. Let them know that it is game, game time. time. It is yeah. game time. And I'm, a, I'm excited about what it is that's going to happen in this place today. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm excited, y'all. I'm Amen. excited Amen. about what it is that we're going to hear in this place today. Amen. Uh, may we stand as we have our doxology and then our call to worship. Praise God from home. All blessings flow.
now called to worship. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than a dwell in the tents of wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. Lord, I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O sing unto the Lord a new song. For he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All the earth sings his praises. Hallelujah. We'll continue to sing praises by singing a hymn of praise since Jesus came into my heart. Amen. What a wonderful change in my life has been wrought since Jesus came into my heart. I have light in my soul for which long I had sought since Jesus came into my heart. and be glad in this. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves as we go before the throne of grace. Amen. 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 O oh God, O oh God, how awesome is your name. God, you are our provider. 
you are way out of no way. Yes. Father God, you are our sustainer, God. You supply us with everything that we need. Yes. God, you are almighty all by yourself. God, we thank you for allowing us to see this beautiful, beautiful day, God. We thank you, God, for waking us up in our right minds, God, and that we have the use of our limbs, Father God, that we prepare ourselves to come here to praise you and to worship you, God. For you are worthy, Father God, for all our praises, Father God. You are worthy for our worships. We come before you this morning thanking you for bringing us through this week. Thank you, Lord. We may have had some ups and downs, God, but you was always there right Thank beside you. us. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you. Because where would we be if it was not for you? Father, we thank you for our health and our strength. Yes, Even, Father God, sometimes we may have felt a little weak here and there, a little pain. But God, you are healer. Yes, and you made all of that go away. Yes, thank you. And we thank give you thanks this thank day. You. Yes, we thank you for being who you are. Thank you, God. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Yes, Lord. The great and almighty. Yes, God. The supplier, the sustainer, the provider, yes. the lover. We give you thanks this morning. Thank you, Lord. We come before you this day as humbly as we know how. For Father, we may have committed something that you were not pleasing with this week yes. and today. Yes. And we come before you, Father God, to ask, Lord, that you would just straighten us up, Father God, and redirect us down to the path that you want us yes. to go. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for your presence. Thank you, God. For we can feel you right now in this room. Yes. We thank you for your presence in here, God. Yes, Lord. For that spirit that you have planted in us, God. We give you thanks right now in the name of Jesus. We come before you asking, Father God, that you would be a part, a, a, a partner for all the people that are out there along the highways and byways that are trying to get to their destination. Yes. Whether it be a house of worship, Father God, whether it be that they have to work today, cover them, Father, and keep them safe. Yes. Cover the ones, Father God, that have yet, yet not come here, Lord, that they will make it here, Father God, safely. Yes. We come before you asking, Father God, that you will open up our hearts and our minds that we may receive the message that you have for us from the speaker of the hour. Yes. Touch, Brother Godfield, Lord. Yes. Remove all doubt, all fear, all anxiousness, Father yes, God. God Let the Spirit come forth in him, Lord, yes. that he, Father God, will give your word yes, with authority and power. Yes. Yes. And Father God, we would be ever so grateful to hear that message. For you, we know, Lord, that that message is for us. That we may use that message, Father God, during the course of our life, during the day, and share it with others. For Father God, you, you bring shepherds here, Lord. Disciples, Lord. That we may go out and tell your people the love that you have for them. And that no matter what they're doing, you love them unconditionally. That Father, they will change their mind and seek you. That they may become a part of your kingdom. Yes, 
Father, we ask that you stop by the hospitals and the hospices, Father God. We ask, Father God, that you touch any member of the assembly, Lord, that is sick or ill. Heal them completely Heal right now Heal in Lord. the name yeah. of Jesus. Yes, God. For we know, God, you can do it. Yes, Lord. You can do it. Yes. So, Father God, we claim that healing right now in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, Father. We can't say enough. There's not even enough words in the vocabulary mm. can tell you how much yeah. we love you, how yeah. much we adore you, Lord. Yeah. So, Father God, I come before you asking that you would just keep us this week. Keep us today, God. Yeah. Guide us and lead us, Father God. If we want to make a detour, hey, Turn us around yes. Lord, and redirect yes. us yes. down the path that you want us to go, God. Yes. For Father, we are imperfect people. Yes. And we need you in our lives. Yes. So never leave us. For you said you would never leave us, yes. nor forsake us, yes. Lord. Yes. And we hold you to that promise. Yes. So God, show up in this place. Yes. And you can show out, for we welcome you in our space. In Jesus' name I pray. And I say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. shall be glorified in this place today. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Because he is worthy of all honor and yes. all glory. Yes. Hallelujah. I ask that you would stand at this time. We're going to ask Brother Amani to come and lead us in the reading of our litany. Let's give him a hand of praise as he comes Amen. forward. Amen. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. As we celebrate Black History Month, we remember the sacrifices of Jesus on the cross and the swinging bodies of the enslaved who were unjustly lynched. We are continually reminded that our work will never be done. On this day, let us be reminded of the God of all who sent his son to be the arbiter of justice and champion of peace for the nation. Lord, we open ourselves to you. Guide us as we use your gifts to serve the needs of your people. We must utilize all of our resources and responding to the needs of others in this year of spiritual philanthropy. As we celebrate our heritage, let us carve out a legacy of stewardship and giving back the gifts you so bountifully gave to us. Let us work to use our lives to reflect the Jesus who was baptized in the waters of Jordan and walked the streets of Jerusalem. All together, God, God of equity, who knows no distinction between race or creed or color, help us to be ever impatient in our encounters with justice and abuse. As ambassadors for Christ, do not allow our hearts to be hardened, 
but let us live your message of justice, peace, and reconciliation. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Armani. Amen. While you're still standing, we're going to ask Sister Shirley to lead us in the reading of our scripture. Let's give a hand of praise. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Script is coming from 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there are there is freedom. And, and we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Bless the word and argument. You place it in our minds and hearts. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Shirley, for leading us in the reading of our scripture. Amen. Now we're going to ask Mother Ruth to come and lead us in the reading of our Decalogue. Amen. Let's give her a hand of praise. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> From all that dwells below the sky, let thy creator's praise arise. Let thy Redeemer's name be sung through every land by every Hear what Christ our Savior saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Glory, Glory be to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we're going to ask uh, Reverend Candace to come. And give us our acknowledgement now. Welcome for the day. You all can be seated. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Gethsemane African Methodist Episcopal Church. How's everybody doing this morning? Good morning. 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 Everything is, spring is coming. Spring is coming. So the season is changing, and we are just so grateful for that this morning. And we're grateful for everyone who made it here this morning. You all look so beautiful in your African attire. And we know that you are watching with us online, so we are just so very grateful. And we're excited about the word that is coming this morning from our guest preacher in the house. So let me do uh, what I was called to do this morning, which is our acknowledgments for the day. And first up this morning was Sister Janetta on Facebook. She says, good morning, beautiful people of game. Have a blessed day today. And you have a blessed day as well this morning. Sister Wanda Preston says, good, mo good morning, Holy Spirit. You are welcome here. Amen. Yes, you are. You are welcome in this place. We have, oh, you just saw her. Um, Mother Ruth, a.k.a. Uh, Elizabeth English, she says, praise God for allowing me to see another blessed day. Good morning, Game Nation and friends. Have a fine and dandy blessed day. That's right, Miss Fine and Dandy. Mother Vanessa is watching us on Facebook as well. She says, great morning, family. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up in my right mind. Thank you for healing me. You are a mighty, awesome God. Hallelujah. You know, we, we, we kind of take that for granted, uh, having the right mind, being yeah. in our right mind. Yeah, sure but God, thank you. Thank you for having and walking Amen. and operating Amen. in a right Amen. mind. Thank you for reminding us about that, Mother yeah. Vanessa, this morning. 
Sister Monica watching us on Facebook. She says, good morning, gang, family and friends. Glory to God for the marvelous things he has done and will continue to do in our lives. Have a blessed day and week and you as well. Thank you for that this morning. Yeah. We have Sister Michelle who says, good morning, gang, family and friends. Thanking God for allowing us to behold the beauty of another day. Amen. Our God is great and greatly to be praised. Okay, Amen. Sister Michelle. All right. Beholding the beauty of another day. Thank you for that. Sister Regina says, good morning, gay family and friends. God's blessings to everyone. Happy birthday to my number one granddaughter, Anisha. I am so glad God woke me up this morning. To God be the glory. Enjoy this special day for me and my family. Have a wonderful, blessed day and week, everyone. Love you all. Thank you for that message this morning, Mother Regina. You know that we are praying for you. I'm just calling you Mother Regina again. Sister Regina, we, uh, we your mother. Mother Regina, and we are just glad to see you here this morning. Brother Jeffrey watching on Facebook. Good morning, game family. I am blessed and highly favored as uh, as well. All have a great day in the Lord. Amen and hallelujah. Brother Sean Batson says, good morning, game family. The tongue is powerful. That's right. The power of life and death is yes. in the tongue. So what you say, you got to speak life That's right. on all Amen. things. Speak Amen. life. And I'm looking. What's going on? Well, first lady's here in the house. But, you know, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that y'all don't see. So she says, good morning and have a blessed day and week. You'll see her in a minute anyway when she does announcements. And so that rounds up my portion, Pastor. Back to you. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Reverend Candace. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you for giving us our acknowledgments for uh, for today. We praise the Lord for uh, our family who has come out to hear this person I'll be introducing here shortly. Amen. But we praise God for all of you uh, today. Now is another part of the uh, worship experience where we all prayerfully can participate. And that is in our giving. It's offering time, y'all. It's offering time in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. On the screen, you will see tithing, tithing builds character. Hallelujah. Tithing uh, lets you know who you really, really, uh, where, where you place um, your power, where you place your love. Uh, when you are able to say, I'm going to tithe, and you're not tithing to the church, you're tithing unto the Lord for the work of the kingdom of Christ. Amen. Amen. And so I am a firm and staunch believer in not only offerings, but I'm a uh, staunch believer, believer in tithing. And that's just what I do. Hallelujah. Amen. I tithe. And so that now is your opportunity, amen, um, for you to give unto the work of the kingdom of Christ. Uh, those of you who are here as our ushers are coming, amen, you can give that way. If you want to give, by way of electronic means, if you have Cash App, we are dollar sign Gethsemane AME. If you have Givelify, search for Gethsemane AME Church, you will see the church's logo. If you have PayPal, search for Gethsemane AME Church Baltimore. Again, you will see the church's logo. If you have uh, Zelle, it is the church's email, GethsemaneAMEC at gmail.com. And if you have checks and money orders, they can be mailed to Gethsemane AME Church, Post Office Box 1103, Randallstown, Maryland, 21133. Amen. Amen. Those are the many ways that you can give. Again, we are grateful for every gift. We are grateful for every giver. You've got to understand that uh, no gift is too small. No gift is too big. When you give from the heart. Amen. 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 Somebody say, God loves a cheerful Amen. giver. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't give grudgingly, but we give because we love the Lord. Hallelujah. And we praise God uh, that he has blessed us to give. May we all stand as we pray over our tithes and our offerings. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. God, we come with grateful and thankful hearts for how it is that you have blessed us. We, we are thankful and grateful that we have an opportunity to give and we have something to give. God, we pray that as we give, what we give will be pleasing in your eyes. We pray, God, that you would help us, help us to continue to build in the kingdom of God. 
And God, we ask that you would open up the windows of heaven, pour out blessings where we won't have room enough to receive it, God, that we can continue to be a blessing to others. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray and say amen. 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 God bless you amen. again, amen, for your liberal amen. giving, for the work of the kingdom of God. It's preaching time in the house of the Lord, amen. amen. It's preaching time. Hallelujah. It's preaching time. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited because it's preaching time. Hallelujah. There's no better time in the service to me than preaching time. How many of y'all know the word is so important? Jesus said himself, man can't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And we praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, for none other than my father, none other than our family, patriarch, none other than Gethsemane's patriarch, that Amen. brother Garfield, Sonny Hudson. Amen. Amen. We Amen. praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for him. Praise the Lord uh, for what it, whatever it is that he had for us today. Amen. Amen. The Lord put on my spirit uh, to have our eldest member to uh, lead us in this last uh, last Sunday of Black History Month. Uh -huh. amen. amen. That we may learn some wisdom. How many of y'all know we need wisdom? Amen. We amen. need wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's so important, amen, to give our elders space to speak and to share the wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of y'all know that there's so many of our elders our, our, uh, that have gone on to be with glory that we wish we could have got some more wisdom yes. from? How many of y'all know there's some recipes that we wish we would have got? Right, yeah, yeah. Well, we have someone here today that's going to give us a recipe. Amen? Yeah, yeah. And we're grateful, we're grateful, we're grateful for Brother Garfield, Uncle G, and everything else that Elder calls him. Amen. We're, <laughs> we're grateful for him. So after the video, the next voice that you will hear will be none other than Brother uh, Garfield Hudson. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.
church. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first of all, I want to thank my family for coming out. I want to thank my pastor for just allowing his people to stand behind the pulpit. Amen. Letting us know that everybody has a word to say. Amen. Amen. I appreciate that. Amen. So we're going to bow his for word of prayer. Father, I come out this morning, God, first giving you all the honor, glory, and praise yes. that you deserve. Thank you, Father, for waking me up this morning to brand new mercies and brand new miracles. Oh, God, I just thank you, God, for everything that you do for us, God. Holy Spirit gave me not just a word, but give me a word, Father, that might do some good for somebody. God. Yes, Lord. God, I bless this temple of Zion. Pastor Michael Hudson, God, Senior, as the angel of this church, God. Pray for all the officers, all the members, and everyone listening to the sound of my voice. God, I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name. Jesus. And I say amen. 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 Um, <clears throat> some of y'all can't see for the right. I don't know who's out there, but I thank you for coming. <laughs> amen. Um, like Pastor always say, it ain't going to be long. <laughs> and sometimes he's able to hold on. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not going to be long, but the Spirit gave me a message. Amen. And now I'd like to give it to you. Amen. This is Black History Month. So I'll be coming from 2 Corinthians 3 and 17. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. My message is hold on to your dreams. Growing up as a black child in the city, sometimes it was very challenging. In my home, I didn't have the option of whether or not I was going to church or not. My parents assured me I would be going. Well, so, late in my teens, I dreamed of singing in a group, you know, like the Four Tops, Temptation, <laughs> or maybe playing football for one of my best friends played for the coach, Charlie Pittman. Mm -hmm. We played together. But, as it was to be, God had other plans for me. No one could have told me that I would marry my high school sweetheart, mm -hmm. love of my life, mm -hmm. and raise three beautiful children. Mm -hmm. My dream weren't God's vision. Hold on to your dream. Remember one thing, without our dreams and God's visions, there would be no Dr. Martin Luther King, one of our greatest pastors and civil rights leaders of our heritage. Our President Barack Hussein Obama, mm -hmm. President of the United States. Come on, man. There would be no people of color participating in the World Series or the Super Bowl. Yes. <laughs> this is Black History Month. Mm -hmm. So many times we are depressed, stressed out, and don't know what to do or where to go. We feel as though we don't know who we are. May I suggest you turn to the Lord. Jesus guides us through his spirit. Yeah. For where the Lord is, his spirit is. Absolutely. Sometimes we don't realize it, but the Lord sends us confirmation through dreams and visions. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Hold on to your dreams. Yeah. Hold on. In the Bible, Acts 10, 10 to 12, Peter had a dream that God directed him to eat meat mm -hmm. that he considered unclean. Mm -hmm. But God assured him, mm. if he blessed it, it was clean <laughs> All right. and good to eat. Man. Isaiah 6, 1 and 7. In his dreams, he saw the Lord sitting high upon a throne, mm. lifted up, and his train of his robe filled the temple. Genesis, 20, Genesis 28 and 12. Jacob dreamed of a ladder 
set upon the earth, mm. reaching heaven, yes, where the angels climb to meet God, yes, standing at the top. We all have dreams. Mm -hmm. But when God sends you a vision, this could be a confirmation for your life in him. So often, since the beginning of slavery, we have been abused, misused, mistreated, and mm. forgotten. We are the last to be hired and the first to be fired. Absolutely. Lord help us. I'm out. But the Bible tells me when God comes back, the last will be first. Right. The first will be last. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. There are three things that we have to do as God's people. Mm -hmm. Trust in God. That's trust in God. Follow and obey his commandments. Absolutely. Hold on to his hand. Remember, God will never leave you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. He never promised us that the road would be easy. But he assured us he would never bring us thus far to leave us. Mm -hmm. right. Hold on to your dream. Tell him, Matthew 19, 26. Tell but, but Jesus held their thoughts and said unto them, With men this is impossible. But if they will forsake all things for my sake, with God, that whosoever things, whatsoever things I speak are possible. Romans 8 and 18. The pain that you've been feeling can't compare to the joy that is coming your way. Mm. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Be anxious for nothing. Uh -huh. When everything, yes. Yeah. In yes. prayer and supplication, yes. uh -huh. with thanksgiving, let your request be made yes. known to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the peace of God which surpasses all understanding mm -hmm. will guide your hearts mm -hmm. and minds yes. through Christ yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Hold on to your dreams. Yes. As black people, we are sometimes treated, though we have no value in life. Mm -hmm. But I beg different. For without our visions and dreams, there would be no gas mask, traffic light, mm. blood bank, yeah. air care plan. system, mm -hmm. carbon filling it for the light bulb, mm -hmm. automatic clocks, mm -hmm. automatic elevator doors, mm -hmm. automatic oil cup, mm. refrigerator, mm -hmm. electric trolley, dustpan, comb, mop, lawnmower, brush, Lord. clothes dryer, pen and pencil shop, yes, folding chairs, all other inventions by Mr. Garrett Morgan, a black man. Yeah. Yeah. Other inventions are the modern toilet, lawn sprinkles, peanut butter, and potato chips. <laughs> this is very important today because for far more than over 300 years, we have obtained our right to be placed in history. Yeah. Hold on to your dreams. Hold on. Hold on. Recently, I became aware of a politician that thought by removing history books uh, from schools, it would make us forget the importance of our walk with God. Mm -hmm. For the Bible, the Bible yes. is the main history book. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, It's the main history book. And it will remain forever. Yes. yes. I also became aware of some other person said black people were happy being slaves. Mm. Oh, well, I don't see how anyone would be excited by someone looking in their mouths and rectum to determine mm. whether they were strong enough to work the fields Lord, from sun up to sundown with no pay to benefit other people. Hold on to your dreams. Hold on. Even in the days of slavery, we had dreams and visions. Mm -hmm. We had hopes of living a good life. Yes, yep. yes. Some people thought when slaves worked and smiled that they were happy. Uh, mm. If I were to use my spiritual imagination, I can see them singing that old Negro spiritual. Swing low, sweet cherry on <laughs> coming for to carry me home. All right. All right. Swing low. Mm -hmm. Sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. But I believe this spiritual hymn is a hymn of joy 
But him a survival to God. Mm -hmm. Really, it was a code to God mm -hmm. to give me life, give me liberty, or give me life. I'm mean, give me death. I'm sorry. One more day, we all, one day, one day, we all be caught up in the rapture. Yes. We'll have no more hurt, no more pain, no more crying, and no more rain. We'll all go back to the Father, and we all shout out, free at last, free at mm. last. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank God Almighty, be free at last. Amen. Come on, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. We praise God for, for wisdom. I told y'all we're going to hear wisdom today. What an awesome, awesome. I am so proud. I am so proud. What an awesome, awesome, awesome word we received today and advice. Hold on to your dreams. Look over to your neighbor and say, hold on to your dreams. Listen, I, I know you ain't got everything you want. You're not everything you want to be, but hold on to your dreams. Hold on. We serve a God who has taken us from the pit. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. from, from, from slavery uh -huh. to where we are now. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We stand on the shoulders of our elders. They had a dream mm -hmm. that their people wouldn't be the same as they. Amen. Amen. That we will be free. Amen. Let's give the Lord another hand of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to do this more often. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let us open up the doors of the church, Amen. As we all stand in the sanctuary, um, as we conclude our last Sunday in Black History Month. What an awesome, awesome day or month it would be. If you and your black self, who you ain't never gave your life to Jesus Christ, would give your life to him, the black man that died on a tree just for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so if that is you, we ask all heads to be bowed, all eyes closed. If that is you, I simply repeat this prayer. Let it come from your mouth and also from your heart. And the Lord will receive you as a child of God on this day. Here's the prayer. Lord, it is me. I confess I have sinned against you. I have sinned against your word. Lord, I repent. Help me never to go back to those sins. I believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. I believe that he was dead and buried, but on the third day he rose with all power and is now seated at the right hand of the throne of God. But I also believe he's coming back, coming back for the church, which is the body of Christ, and I want to be part of that body. Receive me now as a child of God. Fill me with the gift of the Holy Spirit. This is my prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray and say amen. amen. Hallelujah. If this is your first time saying that prayer, I want you to know that you are now a child of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And we praise the Lord for you. If that is you, you're in the sanctuary. Simply slip up your hands so that we can acknowledge you. If you're online, simply put in the comments, saved. S-A-V-E-D, and someone will reach out to you today. Also, there is plenty good room here at Gethsemane African Methodist Episcopal Church. If you don't have a church of your own, God knows I ain't trying to take nobody members. If you don't have a church of your own, we would love to have you here at Gethsemane African Methodist Episcopal Church. Amen. Hallelujah. And so if that is you, we would ask that you would put in the comments, member, M-E-M-B-E-R, and somebody will reach out to you today. Hallelujah. 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 Continue to dream, y'all. Yes. Continue to dream. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We're going to ask First Lady to come now and give us our announcements uh, for the day and for the week. Let's give her a hand of praise as she comes. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Awesome word, my papa. 
<laughs> announcements for the week. <laughs> On Tuesday, Tuesday, um, there will be no Bible study, but we will have the quarterly conference here at the church. Correct, Pastor? Quarterly conference will be here at the church, at 6 p.m. At 7 p.m. Choir rehearsal is at 6 p.m. For all yes. the choir members, please be here at 6 p.m. For choir rehearsal and all the ones that want to join Amen. the choir, please Amen. be here at Amen. 6 p.m. Amen. 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 But all leaders, please be here at 7 and anyone else that would like to join. Then on Wednesday at noon, there's noonday prayer. Ask that you post your request in the comment section. Send your request at send me a Gethsemane, A-M-E-C, at gmail.com. Like I always say, if you have my phone number, you can text me. You can call me to uh, give me your prayer request. But if you can't do any of those, like I always say, you can pray for yourself. God listens to you just like he listens to us. And it's just a conversation between you and God. Amen. Amen. You talk to him just like you would talk to me. He listens. He probably will listen more than I will. Amen. 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 And then Friday, uh, Friday is the first Friday of the month. So we will have prayer and praise here at the church at 6 p.m. So hope to see you here for prayer and praise. It's our power. Amen. Our power. So come on and join us. Amen. And then for the month of March, next month is Women's Month. So I ask that you join us each Sunday for an awesome time in Women's Month. We have uh, four dynamic speakers that will be um Bringing forth the word. So uh, I am so excited. I am so excited. Amen. 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 Birthdays. Got a couple of birthdays. Um, last Wednesday, I forgot to say this. It was uh, Miss Hannah's birthday. Uh, <laughs> her birthday was last Wednesday. So Hannah, I hope and pray that you had an awesome, awesome birthday. Um, on tomorrow, Sister Audrey Batson's birthday. And then on Tuesday, it's Brother Sean Batson's birthday. So I, I know y'all, I, I know them. But they're going to have themselves an awesome birthday. They're going to have themselves an awesome birthday. If nobody else don't have an awesome birthday, those two are going to have themselves an awesome birthday. So happy birthday to y'all. And then on Friday, it's Sakari Green's birthday. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And then on Saturday, it's Mother Rosa's birthday. Amen. So I pray, I pray each and every one of you. Have an awesome birthday, and may God bless you with many, many more. The scripture for the week is Colossians 3 and 23. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. And the message says, work from the heart for your real master, for God. And then it says... um, we are encouraged to act and to work willingly, doing everything with a whole heart in a manner that is pleasing to God. It's just saying everything you do, do it for the Lord uh, and not unto man. Our actions should not be carried out grudgingly, but with Jesus' joy. Amen? Amen. 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 May you all have a blessing, awesome week. I'm going to turn it back over to the hands of the pastor at this time. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord another hand of praise. Praise God for all the birthdays that are coming up. And we say happy birthday to my niece, Anisha. Amen. Today we say happy birthday to her and pray she will have a very happy birthday today. Amen. 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 Again, let's give the Lord a hand of praise for the word, for the word, for the word, for the word. For the word. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord that his, his grandchildren showed up today. Amen. In the house. Surprised him. Hallelujah. Even though he can't see them, they out there. Hallelujah. They out there. But we praise the Lord for all of you today. What an awesome experience, worship experience we've had today. Amen. 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 Let us all stand as we have our doxology and our benediction. Praise God from whom all blessings flow.
you know, Lord causes countenance to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you his peace. In Jesus' name we pray and say amen. 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 God bless you. Hold on to your dreams. Life.